This is the threat the massive glaciers atop Mount Rainier. The next time this volcano erupts, all this is expected to melt. But we don't know when that eruption is coming. It may come while your kids are working quietly in class. And as that ice melts, it will pick up rocks, dirt, and volcanic ash on the way down, turning into mud flowing down the Puyallup River. Pack up your stuff. King 5 is at the All Saints School, and in Puyallup, 8,000 students from both public and private schools are practicing how they will grab their emergency supplies, clear the school, and assemble outside for the next step. All Saints to Puyallup EOC. EOC to All Saints copy. All Saints has cleared the building. Mark Keedy works at All Saints as the school's custodian. Today, he's the incident commander. The threat is not hypothetical. 39 years ago, on May 18, 1980, Mount St. Helens erupted, and with it came the lahars, the water, the mud, flooding rivers and taking the lives of those who could not get out of the way. From the school, students then gather at the Puyallup Fairgrounds. Like seventh grader Joey Bambrick, everyone is learning something new. Now I know exactly where to go, what to do, who to follow. Washington's five volcanoes are constantly monitored by the U.S. Geological Survey. Puyallup is better off than some places. The Cascades Volcano Observatory says it could take nearly four hours for a lahar to reach the town. The next step would be to hike to higher ground above the level of the lahar. You drill not to you know, alarm anybody, but it's just to be prepared. And that's what was important for us today, is just to be prepared. What we need to do next time, what we did right, what we could do better. This is on a big scale, eighth grader Mariana Joyce. But we haven't done a whole like Puyallup drill. Until now. We have returned to school, all present and accounted for. Glenn Farley, King 5 News.